Welcome to this session about software design file handling. So in this session we will see how we can design when the program requires some file handling. So file, you have some data in a file, in a program you need to process those information. So we select overview, file reading. So this is some this pays more attention to the design aspect how you can write the pseudocode and you have file reading file reading when the when the trailer records exists file reading when e of marker exists so file reading file reading when trailer record exists file reading when end of file marker exits so reading records from text files read records of a file is a continuous process until it reaches the last record so for example let's say it class marks the marks for a particular module it's available in a file so you have to read the marks from beginning to the end so reading records of a file is a continuous process but it has to stop until it once it reached the last record so once it is the last record there's no more records after that so you have to stop file reading so there are two ways the program know this the first one is when a trailer record or sentinel exists second one is when the end of file marker exists exists so let's see how we can do that trailer record exists so special record or value at the end of the end of valid data to indicate the end of valid data so you are you have a particular condition which takes if it's valid only you read otherwise you do not read it must clearly be distinction distinguishable between the other data to be processed for example you have data file of a class the marks all the students they have got some marks for the for a particular module so those marks are available in a file but I want to read the marks who have scored above 70 only. So that's a condition. Right? So the records of the file will be read until a particular condition is met. So it must clearly be distinguishable between other data. So it, it is in our example it is clearly distinguishable or you can see the change or it can separate the data because we know we are reading the marks above 70 only so we are not reading the marks below 70 so it is clearly distinguishable or we can separate or we can identify clearly between the data that we process and the data that we do not process so in our example the marks are from 0 to 100 it's saved in a file of all the students so we process only the data which is the mark is greater than 70 so it is clearly distinguishable so it will be implemented as while loop condition so with the flow chart read record attributes do while so you have the condition then and you have the statement and then read record attributes and in do so this is the notation so this is one example process inventory records so the other than the file reading aspect all the things that we have covered in the flowchart or pseudocodes applicable here as well set total underscore low stop to zero so you initialize it to zero 
then read number description and stop do while the number is not equal zero then it goes inside the condition if stock less than 20 then print number description and then add one to the total and again you read number description stop and end loop. then you print total loss underscore low stock at the end and ends so there should be so you can test with some data as well stock is less than 20 then print so what you have to do is read number description so the first condition is it has a particular condition you have to read from the file so first you read the first record of the file then it has the do while loop with, with the condition and if the stock is less than 20 you do the necessary operations a particular logic and you read it inside the do while loop as well so you read it if the number is not equal to 0 so that is the condition so it is clearly distinguishable that we read on the separate section of data so in order to read the number should be not equal to zero when the number is equal to zero we stop it so let's see the other aspect when the end of file marker exists so this is the second way so in the first example we read a portion of the file let's say you have marks from 0 to 100 but we read only the marks above 70 so that is one portion or one section of the data set so that is from method number one method number two when the end of file marker exists so that means all the data will be read for example if we have marks from 0 to 100 all the marks will be processed in contrast in the previous situation we read only above 70 marks <coughs> so this comes when there is no trailer record the end of file marker will be checked so end of file marker EOF marker will come into action when there is no trailer record or there is no particular condition is given the check for EOF EOF is positioned in a do while condition using one of the equivalent expressions do while more data do while more records do while records exists do while not EOF so do while EOF so let's see this example so it says a very good example process student enrollment write an algorithm for a program that will read a file of student records who are enrolled in a course and select and print only the student number name address of those students enrolled in a course unit programming one Each student record contains student number, name, address, postcode, gender and course unit number. The course unit number for programming 1 is 18,500. Print the total students enrolled in a course at the end of the report. So for example, if you look at a first year student, they take first year student in a software engineering course or software engineering or CS course they take variety of modules maybe eight modules in a in an year in a year and uh, here what we are doing is we are looking at only one module so that module is programming one so if you go to the instruction again write an algorithm for a program that will read a file of student records so that means 
for example your records for all the modules who are enrolled in a course so the course can be SE or CS and select and print only the student number name address of those students in course unit name programming one and each student record contains student number name address postcode and so on so let's try to I have that example set total students enroll to zero read student number name address postcode gender course unit so you are reading from the file so you have to do that till the records exist Till the record that exists, you read. If the you then you have the block inside code block inside. There you check. You don't read all the modules. You check post unit is eighteen thousand five hundred. In order to find the details are mixed. It does not have all the course units or the programming one at one section. So you have to process the full file. If the file is arranged in such a way that programming one marks are in a particular section, then you don't have to read all the records. Then you know what records you have to read. But it, if the marks are spreaded out, then you have to read all the records. So do while records exists, if course unit is 18,500, add one to the total students then print number student number name and address and ND then again you read student number name address postcode from the file so you have to do is this is EOF marker is used do while records exist you have to do this operation so other calculations are almost same so that is the <coughs> EOF marker do while records exist you have to do this and in contrast we had the previous one it's like inventory do while number is not equal to zero this does not have the EOF marker this does not record or read all the entries in the file because it does not have the end of file marker it reads only a portion of data which meets this condition number not equal zero so in summary there are two ways you can use to for file reading when the trailer record exists that is the first one second one is when the end of file marker exists so trailer record exists that means in the do while when you are reading when you read the first record of the file and then you have the do while with a condition number is not equal to zero so that means only a portion of the data will be read number not equal zero you do the operation and next is this so this is the syntax so do while with the condition when reading data that is when trailer records exist so other one is end of file marker the example for end of file marker is the line 3 this is the only new thing in this one other all the other concepts of pseudocodes were covered in previous sessions see selection sequence selection and repetition so here the only new thing is the line number 3 do while records exist then you do the operation that means you process the entire file and select only these things so although we select only the course unit 18500 we are processing the full file so that is why it says when the EOF marker exists 
so there are few ways to mention that you are using the EOF marker end of file marker so one is do while more data do while more records do while records exist do while not end of file right so do while do the operation while more data is available do the operation while more records available do the operation the operations while rec more records exist do the operation until the end of file so that means if the end of file is not reached then do those operations so these are the ways where you can use the EOF, EOF marker so the check for EOF is positioned in a do while condition using one of the equivalent expressions in our example that we discussed we have used do while records exists in order to show the EOF marker so in our example you see in line number 3 we have do while records exists so that's about file handling that's the end of this session thank you